could be from the back. So I could be here, I fake this, throw the backhand slap. Okay, slap, 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 slap. So I just want to slap it. Boom. That's also like what? Sa sao. Okay, but I really want I'm moving. Fake here. That's a I'm here. See, I fake this hand, shift my core, move my foot in, and throw a slap. But if you're just training, you could just practice the slap. But I suspect you probably already could do that. That's a slap. Then you do it on this side. Okay? Then you could do it the front hand. With a with a forehand slap. Okay? And then you could do the forehand. Okay, so you should practice a slap. That's a good fighting tool. Then your elbow really is used after a slap most of the time. Okay, but we're just going to press the elbow so you hold it square. So if I'm here, I may fake the slap, throw the elbow in. Nice tight structure. Fake the slap, hold the elbow. So right here I have to step into the elbow because I'm not pulling him in. In reality, I really what? Pull him in and control him. This is called horizontal elbow. Okay, so I just step, step. Then if I switch it up, I step. Switch it up, I step. And I step, and I step. So I usually want opposite foot, and elbow penetrating. Okay, so I step in. I might be here. Throw this punch, throw that elbow. Throw this punch, throw that elbow. Throw that slap, catch a head and elbow. Throw that slap, catch a head and elbow. That's your basic uh, elbow for the level one curriculum. The straight kick, so if I'm here, I could do it with my right leg. That's in the groin or I could do it with the leg in front. That one usually is vertical, and I kick just straight up, boom. This one, I really bring the knee forward and kick straight up. And again, I'm going right in the groin, but that could go as high as the head. But if I just go like that, see, I could back fist. Or if I just go like that, see, I could re return the other kick. But the straight kick just goes up. That's a vertical kick and it's just straight in, okay? The side kick really is, is from this position or this position, but I move this foot, okay? And I point my heel at my target and I side kick. So if I'm moving, I might side kick here. If I, if I evade a punch, I might side kick here. That's very typical you see JKD people execute is this followed by this. Uh, really doesn't matter. You should be able to do it from any position, from that position, from this position. So you should be able to bring the sidekick in. Really, you want to make sure you don't vertical it. You want the kick to penetrate. So you want the kick to somewhat explode. So I like that. Okay, and that could be any any position on the body. The hook kick, typically if he throws a punch at me and I pat it out, the hook kick is in the groin. Or he throws a punch at me and I pat it out, the hook kick could be in the groin. So if I'm here, I could kick the groin. Okay, so if I'm here, I could kick the groin. Or sometimes we just shoulder roll, or we touch the jab and we shoulder roll the cross and kick the groin. So if he does a one, two, see, I can just kick it into the groin. And sometimes I just, the key here is I really what? By the time you see this in JKD, you're not going to land it. 
I have to express that. So my, my hook kick needs to be behind, or we call it in the shadow of my hand. So he's really reacting to that, the kick really works good. Here, if I do this, he's already taking care of that kick. Okay, the straight knee could be done vertical right here. So it could be done with the front leg, okay? And it could be done with the rear leg. Okay, usually you just hold a pad, hold a pad. In reality, you wanna control, control, and knee. Or you're controlling the arm and you knee. But if you practice it like that, right hand, right knee, left hand, left knee, left hand, left knee, right hand, right knee, both hands, left knee, both hands, right knee. But the knee should be always able to turn into a kick. And the knee should always be able to turn into a kick. Because if I go like this and he blocks my knee, the kick is groin. Okay? But that's the basics of the, of the Jun Fan or the JKD structure. And the Jun Fan says you should already have jab, cross, body hook, head hook, uppercut, uppercut, hook, cross. All those basics should already be familiar to you. Remember, we don't have a stance in JKD. No such thing. This is the stance. It's always, always moving. Always what? Always moving, elusive. Like the moon in the stream, as he says. Okay.